If you're after a super compact autofocus APS-C lens that costs less than $150, then the TT Artisan 27mm f2.8 might well be the answer. This lens comes packaged in a smart black box that comes with a manual. And looking at the lens itself, you can see that it's a small pancake style lens around two and a half centimeters or an inch deep. It has a plastic lens cap, which does feel a bit cheap and can ping off if you're not careful. The rear lens cap is large as it actually has electronic elements and has a USB port built in, apparently for future firmware updates to the lens. So it's well worth keeping hold of this. And the lens is made of aluminium and plastic. The aperture ring has notched travel, making it less likely to get knocked by accident, which I quite like. And the aperture ranges all the way from f2.8 to f16. And the focus ring has a smooth, continuous travel. It has a minimum focus distance of 0.35 meters or 1.15 feet. And this lens also has a filter thread size of 39 millimeters. To get a better grasp of the size of this TT Artisan lens, then here it is in comparison to the Sony 16 to 50 mm kit lens. And as you can see, it's fairly comparable, if not a little smaller than the kit lens, which is quite a surprise for third party lenses. Also in the box is a very small lens hood, which I'm not sure how much help it would be, but it's worth pointing out that the lens cap also fits over it if you're going to use it. So as you can see, this really is a compact lens, which is its major selling point, as so many good quality lenses are much larger than the kit lens, making your camera much less portable. Now TT Artisan have provided this lens for me, but there's been no additional payment and they have no input into the final video and I will be reviewing it honestly. Now, the other huge selling point of this lens is that it costs just $150, which is very cheap for an autofocus lens. When compared, say, to the Viltrox 23mm, which admittedly has a much wider aperture of f1.4, is priced at $280. The TT Artisan 27mm at nearly half the price is definitely worth paying attention to. And you can check out my full review of the Viltrox 23mm here, as this is a lens that I use and like a lot. And also, for a whole host of other lens reviews, please subscribe to the channel, as it helps me out a lot. The question you might be asking yourself is, well, what is the most important thing about any lens? And of course, that is the image quality. And for a start, I've been using the TT Artisan 27mm to record this entire video so far. So you can get a good understanding of how it looks for an in-studio video, such as this one. For reference, I've paired this lens with the Sony ZV-E10 camera. Let's now have a look at some example photos and videos I've taken with this lens. As you can see, the image quality is pretty good and it's performed well for a lens of this price. In fact, I'm very happy with it for a lens of this price. The images are pretty sharp, especially in the center of the image and still has reasonable sharpness at the edges, though it does get a little softer. One thing worth noting is that it does have quite considerable vignetting at the corners of shots, which are more pronounced at wider apertures, which is the darkening of shots around the edges. But overall, the wide shooting angle of 27mm and the reasonably wide aperture of f2.8 makes this lens well suited for travel photography, as it's wide enough for good landscape photography. And that decently wide maximum aperture of f2.8 
makes it a pretty good performer in low light and to get some nice out of focus looking backgrounds. So next, let's talk about the autofocus on this lens. Now, first of all, it's great to see lenses of this price point having autofocus. I can't think of any other third party lens with autofocus for this cheap. So straight off the bat, it's a great start. Now, you, as you might expect, the autofocus isn't quite as fast as first party Sony lenses, but it still seems accurate enough. A couple of things worth pointing out is that the autofocus motor is quite noisy. So if you're recording video and autofocusing changing focus, you'll likely be able to hear the autofocus motor. The autofocus isn't also the fastest compared to much more expensive lenses, but I think it can be forgiven that considering its size and price point. Now, another thing that I have noticed is that occasionally the autofocus and this lens will not find focus at all. And I needed to switch to manual focus or to power the camera off completely and turn it on again. I've never had this happen with any other autofocus lenses, especially with this camera. And it's worth noting, it certainly isn't something that happened often, maybe once or twice while testing, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Though overall, if you want a super compact autofocus lens that is perfect for travel, there's nothing else on the market quite like this lens. It performs well for both photo and video, all for that unbeatable price of $150. Do you have any budget lenses that you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to pick up the TT Artisan 27mm f2.8, then there will be a link in the description. But if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. But until next time, see ya.